Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh and in this video we'll continue to learn about how to style a data frame in Pandas. Specifically we'll look at how to create a heat map, bar charts and how to share the style from one data frame to another. And finally we'll end the video by looking at precision caption and the table style. So let's get into Jupyter Notebook and start coding. Here I've imported three libraries, NumPy, Pandas, and this time we are importing a new library, Seaborn, and this is for creating the heat map. And let's go ahead and import those. And this, this is the version I'm using. Now for the data frame, uh, this is the data frame from previous videos, except that I've added additional rows and additional columns here and we'll be using this uh, data frame for the styling code and i've also gone ahead and added this uh, function from previous videos where which uh, colors the negative values in a data frame in red and so the data frame that we have this time looks like this uh, which has columns b c d e and a is all one through ten now the first item that we will look at is heat map and to create a heat map we need the s uh, seaborn library which we have already imported so now what we'll do is uh, type cm is equal to sns dot light palette and here uh, we'll use the blue color so let's say blue and then as underscore c map is equal to true and then we are going to use df dot style is dot background underscore gradient and c map is equal to cm and when we uh, sorry we need an s there so when we run this we get a nice colorful data frame uh, which has this gradient color so the darkest color is for the highest value and the lightest color is for the lowest value and the nns are again in a separate uh, black color now we can use a slice of this data frame so let's try that df dot lock and if we use colon 5 dot style dot background underscore gradient and then we specify c map is equal to cm in that case we now have only the top six rows in the data frame and we can see the uh, the variation is now the darkest color is six in column a instead of the uh, row with index 10 now we can also use a compressed color range so compress the color range for this let's say we have a data frame df and uh, for this we use the style object and then uh, we use the background underscore gradient and for this we have the cmap color so let's let's try using plasma this time plasma and we'll set the lower and low and high for this so low is 0 0.5 and then high is equal to 0 and then we have uh, here we have the highlight underscore null is equal to red so we are going to highlight the nulls in red color as well so here we can see that uh, this is a new scheme color scheme and uh, we have a, the variation in the colors is different so let's go back and if i change the cm as you can see uh, this color scheme is different than that so here we have a gradation that goes from yellow to a complete orange red and then this is more like 
close to magenta so depending on what type of or, you know, visualization effect you need uh, what values need to be read in that case then you can change the type of cmap that is used next let's look at how you can use a customized approach and for this we'll use again the same data frame df uh, dot style and then here we'll set the properties and for this within our dictionary we will specify the information as key value pair so we have background background dash color and this can be black and then we have color this is let's add lime color this time and then we have border color and this let's put this as white and when we run this this is a another way in which we can uh, visualize the data so here we do not have a heat map that we had before but this is like a different type of color scheme that we can use now moving on let's look at how we can introduce bar charts in our data frame so for bar charts uh, we are going to use df dot style and here we are going to add bar and we'll subset columns here so let's subset column a and column b and we'll use the color as let's say coral colors now when we run this we see that we have nice bars created in each of the columns that overlay the data in it and one difference however here is that the negative values and uh, in column b it's difficult to differentiate between the negative values because they are of the same color and we can we can change that uh, by aligning them differently with different colors so let's try df dot style and here again the same method we'll use bar and within that we'll use subset is equal to same columns a and b and here we'll specify align is equal to mid and then we'll specify the color so in here we can specify the list so we'll specify the magenta color and the coral color so coral would be for all positive values and then magenta would be for negative values so as you can see now we can clearly see these uh, variations in column b where we have negative minus 2.5 and then we have this positive 2.2 in coral color so that's really interesting and impressive to see we can get a quick look at how the data is uh, uh, looking so we can visualize that in this type of format where we can have the bar uh, plot directly inside the data frame next let's look at how we can share style between two data frames and for this we are going to uh, create a new data frame so let's create data frame df2 that has values that are opposite to what we have in data frame df so i've entered, added a minus sign in front there and then so that's the data frame we have now we are going to save the style so style one is equal to df dot style dot apply map and here we have color underscore neg negative so that's the function we had in the beginning of this uh, video so that's the original style now let me type that here so this is the a style from df now what we need is style uh, for df2 so style for df2 and we'll create a variable here style2 and add df2.style to that now we need to transfer style1 to style2 and to do that we'll type style2.use style1.export 
and uh, when now when we run style 2 we see that we have the style from data frame df where you are converting the color of the negative values to red and now in df2 we can see that automatically it recognizes all the negative values and it converted them to the color red so that's the that's really powerful if you have a fixed function that or style that you need to transfer to uh, several data frames and visualize how the data looks so this would definitely be very helpful now moving on let's look at a couple of other formatting uh, functionalities one is precision and for this we can type df dot style dot set underscore precision uh, let's say two in this case what happens is the original data frame df stays as is uh, as you can see here uh, only the printed output that we see is changed by using the set underscore precision so we have now uh, only have up to two decimal places next let's look at caption for caption uh, we can add a caption over the table so data frame so it's df dot style and then we can specify set underscore caption and here we can say this is the title of the data frame so that's the caption we have and uh, then we can specify the background underscore gradient and here let's say c map is equal to we can use the original cm and as you can see now we have this nice heat map for the data frame and we also have this title to that data frame so this can be really helpful if you are visualizing uh, multiple heat maps and uh, if you have different uh, kind of quantities measured in each of those then a title will definitely help you easily recognize which is which moving on now let's look at table styles and for this we'll create a, a simple style that's discussed in a docs where you can uh, hover over a data frame and it changes color so if this is the data frame we have and if we hover over this we see that it is light blue in color so we can create a similar effect for this uh, we'll create a function uh, df uh, hover and here we have hover underscore color is equal to default let's set it to yellow color and then we'll return a dictionary so a dictionary with these values in it selector is equal to tr colon hover and the, these functions are directly from the docs props is equal to uh, within square brackets we need to specify the background color so background underscore color and here we can specify percent s so this is similar to what we have seen before uh, for formatting so hover underscore color so we have this all set now we can call that so df dot style dot set underscore table underscore styles and within uh, parenthesis square brackets hover open close parenthesis and we get this now here as you can see when we hover over any row you can see that that particular row is highlighted in yellow color so if you uh, change this function and customize it to some other conditions or some other colors or formatting then you'll be able to see that in the output that was it for this video i hope in this video you learned how to use different types of styling for data frame specifically how to create uh, bars in a data frame 
and how to create heat maps or different C maps that we can use as well as how we can uh, change the precision add caption to the data frames finally we also looked at how to share the style from one data frame to another data frame in next and final video on styling we'll look at a few more intricacies where we can do some other types of uh, you know, styling uh, with the data frames until then please like share and subscribe i hope to see you all in the next video thank you